My friend Pat Dangler said I gotta stop by the Insta360 booth because they've got a cool new camera. So I'm here with Michael Shaboon who's gonna tell us about the, what is it called, the Insta360 One R. How are you yes. doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for coming over. Yeah, you're pretty excited today, aren't you? Uh, it's day two of CES. I still have all my energy, so uh, but but I'm excited because of this new camera that we just released, and it's been uh, it's been cooking in our oven for quite a while, and uh, we're really excited to to finally be able to show it off to consumers. So this isn't just a 360 camera, is it? No, it's uh, it's actually the world's first modular action camera, and it has uh, three different lens and sensor options that are fully removable, and you can you can interchange each of the lenses and sensors to. To, to meet the demand of whatever you want to shoot. So, what so that's almost like an SLR, being able to change change lenses. We we took a lot of notes from what the DSLR market has proven over the years, and and what we've what we've realized is, uh, for a photographer or a videographer, there's never going to be one camera and lens combination that can suit all of your shooting needs. So what we're doing is we're giving our users options without having to buy additional camera bodies or or lug around a ton of gear that that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do. Oh, okay. Okay, so why don't you describe what you have in your hands here? Sure. So what I have here is uh, the base model of the Insta360 ONE R, and it comes with three modules. It has a, a bottom-mounted battery that clicks on and off. And it's red, so it looks cool. It is red, yeah. It's our it's our first red trimmed camera, um, and and then the other two modules basically separate. You just pull them apart, and we have the control module that has a built-in touch screen, so you can select all of your settings directly on the camera without having to use the app if you don't want to. And then the other piece is the lens and sensor module. So for the 360 version, it it shoots up to 5.7K uh, resolution, uh, similar to our One X camera, but with this, it's been fully upgraded in terms of the, uh, the the algorithm that goes into the uh, the computations of the of the image quality. So kind of sewing the stitch, stitching the two halves together. Well, essentially the stitching is. I mean, that's our bread and butter. We're fantastic at our stitching, and that's what make elevates our brand above the other 360 cameras. But with this, you're able to record H.265, and you're going to be able to output ProRes from this camera as well. So what? It it blurs the lines between consumer ease of use and prosumer and professional power that that folks need to actually monitor monetize off of it. And so, so what he's holding in his hand are two one inch cubes they look like. The one is the uh, is the lens. Lens and sensor combined, right? Into one one cube? Yes. And then the other side is where the uh, the touch screen is. Yes. So so what happens is once you combine all three pieces together, the uh, the battery charges the control module, which and then shares power to the camera module. Okay. Okay. So, so by the way, he's pulling these apart and sticking them together very easily. It's not like some big cumbersome latching things together. He just shoves them together, right? Exactly. And so so let me show you this next one. So. Um, what we realized is, you know, we obviously started in the 360 world. Um, okay, right after I said it was easy, we're in. there you go. You had it backwards. Huh? Day two, right? So, well, well, it doesn't matter, right? So, so here's one cool thing: you can create a traditional action camera with the screen facing behind you, or you can take this lens and you can flip it the other way, and you can have a vlogging camera. Oh, oh, wow! That is really cool. So now the lens you just attached—that's no longer. Now we aren't talking 360, right? You've added a different module. This is a fixed angle 4K 60 lens that is an equivalent of about a 16 and a half millimeter so it's a it's a wide lens that you can interchange on and off and what we realized was 360 shooting is great but there's not always going to be a need to shoot everything in 360 so for those moments where where you you don't want 360 you can pop on this lens and shoot standard 4k 60 content or you can go 4k 30 24 frames you can you can yeah you explain like if you're if you're skiing you don't need to see the back of your shirt while you're recording the, the skiing so why have 360 exactly exactly and then the uh, the kind of hero piece and all of this the thing that we're the most excited about is the third module and let me hold some lenses here oh I got it it's got I've been doing this all day so with the third module, uh, this is a uh, the first collaboration we've had with Leica. Leica co-engineered this lens, and and the really unique thing about this is it's the world's first one-inch sensor for an action camera. One-inch sensor—that's a lot of light. So, and this is tiny. I mean, you can you can I'll put this the pieces together, and you can feel it. It weighs about 150 grams total, and. Uh, and that's and that will shoot up to 5.3K resolution fixed angle. 
from that lens. Wow. So what is, what is the angle on that? So this uh, the, this one is about a 14 and a half millimeter equivalent. So it's also really wide. Oh, wow. Wow. That is, and it's cool looking too. These three modules together, you're right, this doesn't weigh hardly anything, and that's a small package. That makes my uh, Micro Four Thirds camera look massive. <laughs> and and what's, what, what's really cool about this camera is um, the ecosystem that we're building around it. So if you can see here on the camera, there's a screw on and off lens protector. So the first thing that always gets damaged with action cameras and 360 are the lenses. Oh yeah, yep, yep. We had to get a new one because it had a scratch on it. Exactly, and having these uh, ridges on here allows us in the future to create uh, filter options and attachable lenses and, and more pieces that will customize your, your camera set. And, and the other thing about the engineering of this camera is that uh, we realized um, if we create a modular setup, Folks at home will actually be more cost effective because they don't need to upgrade their camera body every year when a new one comes out. And we can put out additional modules much faster than producing a completely new camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get, you'd have to think up a new camera model number and it'd be hard and confusing. Yeah, right. We're, we're just, you know, we're saving our marketing team time, essentially. <laughs> uh, so, but this is just, these are just the hardware features. And uh, what's really amazing about this camera is the power that's packed into our app. So our app has always been kind of uh, our, our hero statement. The ease of use of a 360 camera, being able to edit everything and reframe and share it all through the app, having all these auto editing functions. And we've taken that and we've applied it to this camera. So uh, one really cool feature that we have is uh, is called auto frame. And, and again, a world we like to be world's first at doing these types of things, but with auto frame, uh, this is our way of allowing users to automatically reframe 360 footage into flat 2D content. Okay, so that's so when you're posting it somewhere, you've got a you've got a flat frame you could show that is just the the, the direction that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah, you take the best angles and moments from your 360 video and you just post that. And and the, you know at at its core, the advantage of having 360 footage for for regular flat content is you have limitless amount of ways that you can edit your content and share it. So okay. one clip can be used so many so many different times. Now, does it tell the user don't stand on the opposite side of the pretty thing they're trying to show? So they're uh, they do it right? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't show that, but there are some really great uh, tips available in the app that will that will help folks who don't have. Hey, stupid! <laughs> get on the other side. You've got it backwards, right? <laughs> Talk to your AI team about that one. We'll, we'll noted. We'll uh, we'll put in the feature request today. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, is this available today? This is available for pre-order today, and it will start shipping in about a week or two. Uh, and there's three different versions of it. Now, the really great part is uh, there's a twin edition available. So for folks at home who are deciding between purchasing uh, a 360 camera or a traditional action camera but don't want to buy both, uh, you can now get two for the price of one essentially. So the twin edition will include the, the standard 4K wide angle module and the 360 module along with the core and the battery all for about $479 which is actually less than the price of a, of a GoPro Max, their 360 camera. That's, that's actually not bad at all. Yeah. Now how about this fancy pants uh, Leica? The Leica lens? That's where you start to <laughs> selling a kidney, I'm guessing. Well, it's not bad, actually. So we're, we're, uh, we love to give value back to our customers at the end of the day, right? So the, the uh, Leica module will be available separately for purchase for $299. Okay. Not, not a whole kidney. <laughs> not a whole. <laughs> that's, a, that's not bad at all, really, when you think about what you're getting with that. This is a great set of stuff. I know you've got a million more things to tell me, but I'm going to cut you off. Michael, this, is, uh, this has been really cool. So the website is insta360.com? Yes, www.insta360.com, or you can go to any of our social pages at Insta360 to check out some of our cool content and learn more about the features. Very good. Thank you, Michael. This is fantastic. Thank you very much.